Okay, this is the uh, 4524, oh, excuse me, 4523 AD. A is for automatic step back and D is for digital. We have a uh, work stage here, heated work stage with a vacuum hold down. And we got a little slot here for a vacuum port. work on the stage, turn the vacuum on. Then we got our fiber optic lighting. And again we have a uh, sp uh, crosshair generator here. That's a little, you can see that little light here. That's set up to where the bond is going to be made. Okay, we're using a one inch, I mean a one mil um, gold wire, and it's, it's on a one half inch spool. So the wire gets fed down through the clamps and then through the wedge tool. And this is a deep access style wedge tool, so there's a hole down through the center and then a tip on the bottom. To open and close your clamp, you have a clamp open button here. Okay, while we're here, we also have a area light for this light here. You need more lighting. You have your high reset. You have a reset button and a setup button. Okay, you have a uh, chessman that moves your work holder which is on the, uh, the stage here. You have a stitch button and on the left hand side here you have your uh, semi-automatic button. Over to the left here is where you're going to program your your uh, programs here. Right now we have uh, the default program that loads up when the, when the machine is powered up and we can step through that. You can see the search for uh, one, power, time, and force. We have settings programmed in. You got a step, kink, and reverse height, and a Y speed. This is for your Y loop formation, your Y direction, and your, uh, your stage. We have our loop set to 2.9. And then we have our bond two, which is uh, your search, power, time, and force settings. And then you also have your tail formation, your tail and tear. Again, this will be explained in the manual you receive exactly which what each setting does. And then finally, you have a mode. We're in standard mode, time long, tail long, and auto is on. And then you have a keypad here, and that's that'll assist you in programming. You have a, um, your manual button. Semi-automatic semi is when it's off. You can adjust your, your search tail, loop, and step over here. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll do a couple of bonds just to show that the machine is operational. And remember, we do have it in auto mode, so that's going to allow us to just do the first bond and it'll automatically step in and perform the second bond. Okay. Again, we're in semi-automatic mode, so I'm going to press and hold the uh, left button on the chessman here. Okay, I'll press and hold. Now we're at uh, search one. It's bond one, and it'll automatically step to the second bond and perform the second bond. Let me adjust the lighting here a little bit better. Okay, so we're at search one. As I release the chessman button, I'm going to make bond one. We go off the loop and then automatically make the second bond. And again, this is all programmed in.
Now, if you want to take it off the auto mode and just manually do your second bond, you'll have to go into your program. It's that last page of the program. And where it says auto, I'll shut that off by hitting the plus button. And here you'll see that you'll have to make the second bond. It won't step back automatically. Search one, bond one. We're at loop. It did step back, but now you can reposition if necessary by using the chessman. Press and hold for search two, and then make your second bond. Okay, in order to load a program that's been saved, you can hit the uh, load button. And you can cycle up to say, uh, I think I have one saved in it. Yeah, that was program two I was using there. We can go to program one, hit enter. Okay, now we have different parameters. So I think you can save up to 99 programs in this. See here the time and the tail were set to short. We do have the Lang Coupler mode, table tear. So the table tear will, will, will move the table in, to uh, create the uh, tail at the, after the second bond. Again, that'll be explained in the manual. And then your standard mode. Okay. I just want to explain one more thing. This is your on-off button. We'll shut the machine off. As we turn the machine on, you're going to notice that the Y table is going to move during the initialization. And you can hear it moving. So what, what, what it's doing here is looking for the limits of the Y stage movement. There are switches in, internal. Okay, once the initialization, initialization completes, it'll, go, it'll uh, come up to the uh, program that's programmed in.